Thanks for joining us here in Barcelona for MWC 2024, where we're going to talk about the great partnership between Dell Technologies and Red Hat. We are joined by David Kipuros. David is Principal Ecosystem Solutions Architect for Telco at Red Hat, and Abdullah Abu Zaid, who's Product Manager, Telecom Systems Business at Dell Technologies. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So a year ago here at MWC, you announced the first version, the version 1.0 of the Dell Telecom infrastructure block for Red Hat. And now you have announced, you've just announced the second version uh, of it. So I'd be interested to hear how it now provides a full cloud platform for the full stack from core to RAN. And uh, maybe if you can share examples uh, or stories of how this really sets cus customers up for success. Thank you, Charlotte. And definitely the first release we launched it last year, last November, was heavily focusing on the core OSS BSS use cases because that's where the demand on the market unifying, transforming the telco environment into a cloud native environment as well as uh, bringing the new technologies like 5G core. The second release heavily focused on extending the seamless cloud experience into distributed core use cases like distributed UPF and cable use cases as well as the RAN use cases when we are talking about centralized RAN or distributed RAN. In addition to that, we started also bringing the 16G servers, uh, the XR8000, the R760, 660, which they are equipped with the Sapphire Rapid Intel processor. Uh, in, in addition to that, we heavily focus into building more blueprints, what we call pre-built packages that enable our customer to have a head start in their day-to-day -day work rather than starting from scratch. And that's with one of the main values of building an engineered cloud solution. Thank you. David, can you give us the Red Hat perspective Absolutely. On this? Um, I think when we started with 1.0, we were hoping to build like a foundational platform for multiple different use cases. So with 2.0, it is kind of um, um, uh, building out the RAN portion of 1.0 as well as other use cases, but it's leveraging the work that we did in 1.0. So all of the work that we did automates the entire platform, the Telco Cloud platform, and we were able to use that to address the RAN use cases, and RAN does have more requirements. It ha it's, um, it's more difficult of a challenge uh, in, in terms of building the platform, but the idea is to use cloud native design principles to sort of take these complex um, um, uh, site configs and ways to build out complex RAN pieces and codify them in a way that's cloud native so that um, a CSP or a partner that we work with, they don't have to start from scratch when addressing RAN. We can have a standard blueprint for the site configs, for all the complexity uh, using um, um, YAMLs or, or, or uh, a config uh, friendly way of handling that. Now you've mentioned streamlining uh, the deployment process from day zero through uh, day two to a complete cloud platform for RAN. So can you maybe elaborate on how this makes the lives of CSPs easier? If you look at it today, let's give the RAN example. We are talking in the edge of the open RAN, cloud native RAN solution and still most of the CSPs today in the early discovery on how to onboard Cloud Run, how to densify it and roll it out. With moving to open ecosystem, you get the bliss of the flexibility of choice. At the same time, you get the complexity of re-aggregating the disaggregated solutions. And that's where we are trying to bring value within the Dell infrastructure block by number one, re-aggregating the disaggregated components, get a pre-packaged cloud to the, com the customer, and then sustain it. So what happens in day zero, you have already pre-integrated interoperable components that can, could work. In day one, we enable it via the zero touch provisioning automation. The customer can go with simple and seamless automation across the board. And then day two, when we're talking about the sustainability of that cloud by treating a whole cloud stack as a product, keep giving consistent releases that give the customer and CSPs more predictability on what comes next, give them the plan, and avoid the, let's call it the reactive incidents in their network operation. David, what's your take on this? How does it make CSPs' lives um, easier? Working with, uh, we call it a DTIP for short, working with the solution, 
it's, it's a really powerful solution because I've been in uh, rooms where you're with a telco and they want to build a network cloud and you have a whiteboard in front of you and you literally start with uh, racks of servers and you start with how do you build a telco cloud. With, and when you start at that low of a level, it's very difficult to get into leveraging that cloud. With DTIB, the starting place isn't really building the cloud. Um, that's what this solution does. So it's more about after you've built a cloud, how can you begin to leverage it? So your starting point isn't really with um, nothing on the server and starting from, from zero. The starting point is now that you have all of the systems up and running with all the cloud native components all configured, uh, then what do you do? It's a very different starting point. Finally, I'd like to know if you've had some customer feedback on this partnership between Red Hat and Dell Technologies uh, from the infrastructure blocks. What are they telling you? The feedback we are getting overall positive, not only from CSPs, but also from net partners and system integrators because they see the value in it in different aspects, each one of them. When we are looking about the CSPs, the main challenge is the operational cost and improving operational margins and how to simplify the operation in their day-to-day -day work. When we are talking about the NEP vendors, their main focus, they want to focus building a software, workload, workload software to, let's say, operate in, and meet SLA, not to develop a cloud stack. And similar case with the system integrators, giving them that head start, a pre-built cloud stack, it gives them, again, a simple, way of delivering scope of work to their end customers rather than uh, just building things from scratch. So overall, the feedback is really positive. We are looking for new customer opportunities and new partnerships on different aspects. David, also hearing positive feedback, I guess? Uh, yes, very, very positive uh, feedback. Um, a lot of interest uh, in the solution. And I would say that um, the type of conversations that we're having with NEPs or ISVs, they're not low level conversations anymore. We're not talking about what are your settings for your BIOS? What are your settings for these low level components? Uh, we're talking at a higher level now, like how can we uh, include more software on top of this platform for core and RAN to help monetization, to help solve bigger challenges than just the low level settings. Sounds like the uh, partnership was a win-win, not just from your perspective, but for your customers as well. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.